somebody could struggle that hard and overcome such a severe case of dyslexia um, until I realized that's actually how his last name was spelled. Uh, the, the H on the front of his last name is silent, much as we would wish he would be if you've ever heard him speak in public. Seriously, our next performer is like a young Norm Macdonald if Norm Macdonald had a severe case of Asperger's Syndrome and was hit in the head with a chunk of concrete. Give it up for Mr. Adam Rabick! Thank you, tiny balding man. I hope one of the drugs they're testing on you is chemo. <laughs> Andy's the roast master here tonight. Andy has been described as the world's biggest asshole. Is that a character trait or an anatomical trait? I, I love the hat though. My question is, does Arnold Palmer even realize something is missing from his house? Glad to see, glad to see Mike Norwood here. Uh, I was worried because I heard a couple months ago they found your corpse in a forest in Georgia. <laughs> Okay, I gotta be honest, you are one ugly motherfucker. Your baby pictures are on Rotten.com. Don't, la don't laugh, chicken boy. Your baby pictures are on Leo's basement. I liked your jokes tonight, Leo. I hope you didn't spend too much time writing them. But I, I, I guess that depends on whether the website you stole them off of had too much porn on it. <laughs> I didn't know Maxon.com had an unfunny 50-year-old section. Oh. Oh. Leo! Oh. Oh. Leo! You come in here and you surround yourself with people 30 years younger than you. You're like the Hugh Hefner of sad. <laughs> He is. Fuck him for it. Uh, Jim Morrison. Jim, glad to see you here. Jim just had a baby that he hasn't eaten yet. <laughs> some, ba some babies are born without arms or legs. Jim's baby was born without hopes or dreams. <laughs> Jim was, Jim was, Jim, you were named after the lead singer of The Doors. And Jim was actually the lead singer of his own band, Jim Morrison, and the, oh my god, that's a dude with a tongue ring. Uh, we're here for a chicken boy. Oh, and you brought your girlfriend, that's cute. No, it was, it was really nice of you to share this moment with her. And it was really nice of her to skip that Fall Out Boy concert, come here. He, he looks like you, only gayer. Do you have any skin pigment? And you're skinny as hell. You look like Freddie Mercury circa 1992. Your, your mom knows you're gonna be home late tonight, right? We're here to roast chicken boy. We're here to roast chicken boy. But Chicken Boy is just using this to promote his Christmas special. Which he's, which he's using to promote his St. Patrick's Day self-indulgence spectacular. Which he's using to promote his Memorial Day masturbatory mayhem. Which he's using to promote his first annual Please for the Love of God Give Me Attention telephone. <laughs> Sorry, I, I said Christmas special, I meant holiday special. I forgot you work at Walmart. <laughs> when I first saw you do stand-up comedy, I thought, it's really nice that they let a retarded person do stand-up comedy. <laughs> now that I, now I've seen you for a while, I realize they really shouldn't let a retarded person do stand-up comedy. <laughs> 
If you cut Chicken Boy's head off, he'll still run around Omaha telling unfunny jokes for up to an hour. MySpace friend is you. I guess that makes sense. Your top MySpace friend should probably be someone who can put up with you for more than three minutes at a time. Uh, uh, you know what, in conclusion, I can't tell if your act is a symptom of genius or a symptom of idiocy. I'm gonna go with option three, a medical condition. You have five years to live. Because if you're still more successful than me in five years, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Adam Raving. By the, by the way, Chicken Boy, don't worry. Adam's uh, top, top MySpace friend is his Facebook profile. So. <laughs>